Even as the Congress continues to defend its beleaguered railway minister, sources say there is fresh evidence corroborating the Singla Bansal link in Railgate. Sources are telling Times now that there were regular phone calls between Singla and bureaucrats of PK Bansal's office. Poonam uh, joins us with the details on the phone line. Poonam, take us through what you have. Uh, investigators, of course, will need evidence really to tie up the money trail. Yeah, it is not that easy for the CBI also to prove the trap case because uh, in the trap case, they really need strong and direct evidences to prove the case in the court. In fact, in this particular case, what we have gathered that Mahesh Kumar and B. Singla's phone were on constant surveillance by the CBI for months. And during, those, uh, uh, during that time, a few phone recordings were tapped and that uh, uh, apparently what CBI is uh, claiming, the sources are saying, that some of the phone calls were made to the close bureaucrats of Pavan Kumar Bansal. So, in fact, uh, uh, by V Singla. So, there was a uh, uh, regular calls between uh, V Singla and the bureaucrats of Pavan Kumar Bansal. This is one of the links which are coming up in the investigation. In fact, some of the uh, tape recordings have also been submitted in the court where the matter is going on. But CBI is not clarifying as to what kind of a conversation took place between them. And who all are these bureaucrats? But certainly, this is one of the links which has surfaced in the investigation. And certainly, uh, as the investigation proceeds, CBI may find more links on this matter. But as far as the questioning of Pawan Kumar Bansal is concerned, CBI is saying that right now they do not have any direct evidence against Pawan Kumar Bansal. So under unless that surfaces, Pawan Kumar Bansa will not be questioned. As of now, they are focusing on all the people who have been arrested and their testimony are being recorded. Right, Poonam, but the fact is that the bribe ca cash really came from a company that was involved in railway projects and it was seized from a businessman who happens, just happens to be the railway minister's nephew. So is there no, in a sense, quid pro quo there? Well, as far as the uh, fact that uh, V. Singla is nephew of Pavan Kumar Bansal, itself doesn't put uh, Pavan Kumar Bansal in the dock because what CBI is saying that it has been seen that many of the relatives of high-profile ministers, they use the name. Just by using the name of uh, Pavan Kumar uh, uh, Bansal it doesn't really prove the crime. So they need certain direct evidences. It is true that V. Singla is a nephew and he has been residing at his residence, but they need direct links, direct evidence uh, to question Pavan Kumar Bansal. Technically speaking, where they have to prove the case in the court. Nonetheless, uh, the conspiracy, the, uh, on the face of it, the case seems to be very clear that uh, it was uh, Pavan, Kumar, uh, Pavan Kumar Bansal who was to appoint member electrical. But the fact that there is no direct evidence against Pavan Kumar Bansal as of now, yes. uh, it says uh, puts CBI uh, under limitation of questioning Pavan uh, Bansal. But nonetheless, as the investigation proceeds, they may find more evidences.